Okay, so we're going to play a list. We're going to play some Yogg. We're going to play a very simple list. We're going to just play one Cauldron. We're not going to play the Walking Ballista combo, right? We're just going to keep it lean, mean, simple. We're going to play three Evolutions, one Cauldron, three Bowmasters, a bunch of Stranger guys, because we just want to go turn one, turn two, turn three, this, draw a million cards, right? We're just going to go full combo. No messing around with Agatha's drawing walking ballista right like this card's powerful but sometimes i feel like it makes a part of the the weak one of the weaknesses of the deck is a reliance on the graveyard and you're constantly attacked your graveyard is constantly attacked and i feel like uh having it attacked more i don't know i don't know about cauldron it's obviously powerful but we're gonna try a list without it and we're gonna see how the deck does in a modern league, let's go. Let's jam. Cauldron's obviously a powerful card, but I think it makes a weakness of the deck even more weak. What do we got? We got one, two. We're a little clunked up in this hand. A lot of high mana stuff. I guess if we draw a third land, we'll be okay. It's kind of a sus keep, but we'll keep. Blue drives monster. I wonder what the hell Blue Drives is. I wonder if their name is Blue and they drive a monster truck. More hardcore. Thank you. I appreciate that. More hardcore. I appreciate that. Thank you. Blooming Marsh. All right. Well, we're playing the mirror. We're playing the mirror. Our hand is so bad in the mirror. We're just so dead in the mirror. We are so dead. It's not even funny. I should have mulliganed, I suppose. Yeah, High Arc's a crazy card. It's so good on turn one. If your High Arc lives, your deck is just so much better than any other deck. If turn one High Arc lives, Yogg is the best deck in the format. Like hands down. Oh, we're we're gonna get to we're gonna get to see it right away. Uh Okay, they have kept a hand entirely on Cauldron. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the best thing to do. This card's fine. Not every deck's playing High Arc. And the four color decks are cutting Ren and Six, so this card is better. Uh, I guess I'm going to do this and play the Besaju. This kind of sucks because we're wasting this mana, but it is what it is. Okay. God, what a disaster. Guess I'm just going to attack the Grist. Guess I'll just swing this at the Grist. I mean, if we had lands, right? If we had mana to, like, do everything, we would just be so far ahead. But we don't. They don't have mana either, but they're about to get a bunch of mana. We'll play the Bowmasters and we'll kill whatever they... Whatever they put in the Cauldron, whatever they pump with the Cauldron, we'll kill. This is probably a bad idea. I probably should have just done this when they were tapped out to kill the High Arc. This is probably a bad play. I don't know. Yeah. Because they don't have to use this, right? I guess there's no creatures in the graveyard, so... Yup. We're just dead. We're so dead. We just don't have the mana to compete with this. All right. Um, how do I do this? I guess I have to kill the insect. Guess we have to just kill that thing. All right. Can we draw some mana? Mana, mana, mana? No, we can't. We're just dead. Uh, I guess we could play a Grist, kill their Grist, but then all their things become Grist. I guess that's what we have to do. Play a Grist. 
plus. Uh, yeah, I think we're just dead to their cauldron, which is ironic. It's not that we're dead to their cauldron. We're just dead to them having mana. Like, if we had the mana here, we have the tools to, like, win the game. They a cord for a bowmaster. Kill my bowmaster. Yeah, yeah. Their last card better be a Yawgmoth. Last card, Yawgmoth. Yeah, everything becomes Grist. They'll kill my Grist. Yeah, and then they get to take it. We're dead. We're dead to the Cauldron. How I said Cauldron was bad. Oh, the irony. All right. Um, I want Necromentia's want this got hit on the head with irony in the first fucking game <laughs> first game wrecked by irony uh go to these go to these i'll cut this and we'll submit endurance i don't know now we sure had a board in the mirror because everything gets changed by the cauldron the cauldron changes everything all right this hand sucks but we'll keep it here I am. I don't want to play Cauldron, and I just lose to it. But to be fair, I lost... My hand was just slow, clunky. I didn't have the mana to do the things in my hand. If I had more mana, I would have won that game. But that's magic. Uh, bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, Grist. Plus... Cauldron milled. Okay. Doomwake, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. We're playing some Yawgmoth. We're just jamming some Yawgmoth. We're going down on cauldrons just to see. It's not really doing much. Yawgmoth. Well, hello there. Um... I feel like I don't want them to untap with this Delighted Halfling. I want to try and uh, tie up their mana. So I'm going to play the Wall of Roots, and I'm going to play Bowmaster. I'm going to Bowmaster their Bowmaster. And then we're going to sack... Then we're going to sack the token off Bowmaster to kill their Halfling, so we can kind of put them into the dirt. And we will attack. It's crazy. It's like whoever's on the play or the draw has like such a big advantage versus whoever's on the draw. Wild. Uh, so now we... I don't know if we could lose. Bowmaster, my bowmaster to bowmaster, your bowmaster. Why not kill bowmaster token? With what? What do we care about the token for? Um, okay. So now... <laughs> Don't tell Pioneer haters. Oh, that's pretty good. Do we stop them from having Yawgmoths up for all time? Or do we just mess up their board? It's kind of a tough call. I think we have the opportunity to get Yawgmoth on the board and we should take it. All right, let's go one, two, double black. Let's play this, play Yawgmoth. Uh, let's start off shooting this, sacking this. They conceded. Yep, this sounds about right. Whoever ramps wins. I got out ramped in game one. They got outramped in game two, and now let's go to game three, where they are on the play, which is not great for me. Maybe I should play a Thoughtseize in game one. Maybe that'll help me catch up. Maybe I can tag a Yawgmoth out of their hand, potentially. Uh, let's cut a High Arc on the draw. Don't really want a High Arc into let them play a High Arc and let them Bowmaster me. 
All right. What do we got? We got slow, slow, slow. Such a slow hand. I guess we'll keep it. I mean, we have lands and spells, right? If we mulligan, things could get a lot worse. Oh, shit. They don't have anything? Oh, shit. All right. Do we want to put this Haywire Might on the battlefield and just have it get absolutely demolished by Bowmaster? Or do we want to save it? It feels like it's a little too risky to just jam it and just have it get murdered by Bowmaster. So let's not do that. Let's not have it just straight up murdered by Bowmaster because that doesn't seem very good for us. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what they get. I guess they're debating if they want to shock in another double black source or if they want to get island forest. Island. Wall of roots. That's like the best two drop. Okay. So what do we want to draw? We want to draw... Okay. Um, what's the best use of our mana? It's probably Bowmasters at instant speed. Although Strangerook Ice is pretty good to have in play. Let's just hold up Bowmaster. We'll hold up Bowmaster. I... I am definitely... Not holding up Bowmaster. Yep. Grist. Make a guy. This is actually really good. This is actually really, really good for us. Because... Oh, it's not that great for us. Somebody went to the school of Zerk. Alright, so we crack this. And we're going to get a forest. And we're going to go Bowmaster. We're going to ping the Insect. <sighs> so now we have a choice. Do we want to just Necromancia Yawgmoth out of their deck? Or do we want to play our Grist and try and battle them on the battlefield? Um, I think we're in such a position that we want to just... Get their yogs out of their deck. Alright, so let's look at our options. Let's look at all our options. We can play Grist, kill their Grist, and then they have Cord for Yog if they have a, a thing. Alright, let's swing these two at Grist. Attack, attack. They'll block one, and we'll see if they want to throw away the plant. Yep. Yogmoth. Ooh, baby. What do they got? One cauldron. Two cauldrons left. Zulaport, Hepatra. One Strangerud Geist in the deck. That's so crazy to me. Strangerud's so good. Four Bowmasters, four Chords, one Endurance, one Push, one Go for the Throat, Apatra, Zulaport. So they have a Shieldred that we're going to have to beat. And we got to beat this Grist. We can do all that, right? Right. Not really. But we'll we'll try and find a way. Why is Zillaport so popular? Don't you just upkeep? Yeah, but people think that... You can use Zillaport with Pentelhaven, and there's one streamer, Claudio, who's had a lot of success with the deck. Uh, except for the Pro Tour, where they got... Mm, no. Um, yeah, there's a streamer called Claudio who's had a lot of success that only plays Zillaport Cutthroat. That's like his jam. That's all he plays is Cutthroat. Some people just like Cutthroat more, and, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Shieldred. Uh, Shieldred kind of sucks for us here. 
We're going to take a lot of damage. All right. Yogmoth. Yogmoth, Yogmoth, Yogmoth. All right. So what happens here? How do we win this game? How do we win this game? We win this game by... We win this game by killing the Shildred, I think. I think we go Grist, kill the Shildred. We go Grist, Haywire Might, kill the Shildred using the Orc Army. So that'll give us enough time. All right, so let's go play this. Let's go one, two, three. Play Haywire Might. Now we play Grist. Now we sacrifice the Orc army. And we kill the children. We're killing the children because it just puts us under such tremendous pressure. And it means we can't use Yogmoth when children's out. Did they draw... What, what, is, what is this? I guess they drew a cord for a bowmaster it's a pretty good draw they're gonna bowmaster my haywire might guess i lose them having shieldred in hand it's really good for me them having shieldred in hand is really brutal so they're gonna swing a million things at grist uh we're gonna block we can't block anything, right? Gr me, Gris, Gris, me. If I block here, they'll Penalhaven it. So we're just going to take all the damage. Take all the damn damn. Playing Yogmoth. <laughs> if we play Yogmoth and, and do, we're just going to die, right? So we have to play the two Strangerroot guys. We have to play two Strangerer guys and then pass the turn. Uh, attack Grist, attack Grist. They'll block. Eh, that's no point. All right, and now next turn we have Yogg and we have to help Yogg saves us. We need them not to draw anything here. Uh, I'm just going to block everything here. We're going to block and we're going to block. I guess we should probably block two one ones. Block, block. So they'll Pendlehaven and save one. Mm. All right, let's get the two two killed and let's take three. They should kill the Strangerer Geist. Let's see if they do that. They should have killed the Strangerer Geist. That was a mistake. That might cost them the game. They didn't kill the Strangerer Geist. Oh, they drew a Fatal Push. Uh, we lose. Grist is too strong. Grist is too strong. One, two, three, four, play this. Shoot this, sack this. We lost to Grivis. First of all, why would they use the Penal Haven to do this when they could you they could save the bowmaster what am i missing here all right um i'm just gonna let this happen we get a dried arbor we'll gain some life they should have used this and then used the pentelhaven on the bowmaster oh they, they the pentelhaven was tapped my bad the pentelhaven was tapped okay 
The Pennell Haven was tapped. They're going to hit me. I'm going to swing this at Gris now. Then we'll untap it later. Swinging at Grist. We just got to clear their board a little bit. All right, now what do we want to do? Now we want to go shoot this, untap. Uh, what are we shooting here? I guess we'll just shoot down an insect. We really need to draw one drop here. That's really good for us. Uh, let's play the halfling. Okay, let's think now. Let's think. Um, the problem is if I go too much lower, they have the Grist to just kill me. The Grist alt just kills me. So I think I just yield from here. They have three dudes in the yard, which is not great for me. So we'll see what they draw. Hopefully they didn't draw a Bowmaster or something. Sacrifice this. Okay, what are you sacrificing? What are you going to sacrifice? I'm going to kill this. So what does this mean? Yeah, this happens. Yogg dies. And then you get to go... What are we attacking with? So we go block, block. Then if they want to use the Pennell Haven on this to kill this, this thing dies and I keep this. I go to three. If they use the Pennell Haven to trade here, then I get to keep this. This dies. They go to three. I can play a Grist. I can kill their Grist. Hopefully we draw a creature and then we'll be okay. I think we do this. They get a choice which one of these they want to kill. They wanted to kill my Stranger Geist. Okay. So now what we need to do is draw a creature. Draw a creature. Okay, what does that do for us? What does that do for us? All right, we can play a Grist. What can we do? We can play a Grist here, plus the Grist, and then have Cord for... I don't know if they have a Dryad Arbor. If they have a Dryad Arbor, we're in trouble, but I'm just gonna play Grist and I'm gonna plus. Grist goes up. Double Grist would be the best thing ever here. Oh no, we milled Blood Artist. That's really bad for us. That's unbelievably bad for us. If they have a Dryad Arbor, we'll probably lose this game. Let's find out if they have a Dryad Arbor. Uh-oh. That's really bad for us. We probably just lost the game there. It depends on their draw. We need them to brick another turn. Okay. What are we doing? They're swinging, they're swinging. We can go to one here. Dead to a Bowmaster, that's not great. I guess we... I guess we block like this. How do we win this game? We win this game by going to one, right? And then Court of Calling for Scavenging is and starting to gain a bunch of life. So this is how we win the game. We block like this. They use Pennell Haven. We go to one. We block like this. Yep. Uh, yep. Halfling. They'll probably kill my Gris now. That's what I would do. Sacrifice. The Halfling. Kill my Gris. Yup. Alright. Scavenging is. Scavenging is. Scavenging is. Young Wolf's a really good draw. Because now we can block, block, one, two, three, four, five, cord for ooze, gain one after combat. All right, uh, now we just pass the turn. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to necro Bowmasters one day. Okay. <laughs> Once again, the fact that this is not a Blood Artist is going to cause them to lose the game. All right, what are you going to sacrifice? Oh, oh, maybe it will. Maybe it I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What are you going to sacrifice? Uh, so they sacrifice the land. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three. One, no, we go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to get, we're going to get, then we're going to, oh, we're still dead. We're still dead here because this thing attacks into us. And then we have to block it, kills it, it dies. We're still dead. That sucks. Yeah, we're still dead. I mean, they drew very well. This was a very good draw. What can you do? We're still dead. Still dead. Whoever was on the play won every match. GG's. We would have been we would have lost. Alright, we'll keep. What the fuck? All Yogmirrors? I've done three leagues without seeing a Yogmir, and now today. When I play Yog, all I see are fucking mirrors. That's crazy. Crazy. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's some electric bob shit. Oh boy. Um, I guess I'll just hold up Bowmasters. We took two off the halfling? I don't know. It's hard to win uh, the Yogmir on the draw. We'll just say it like that. All right, let's bowmaster them. Play this. We're gonna attack first. I don't. I, I guess they could have a bowmaster here. They just have nothing. Uh, what do I want to do? I guess I want to just play the grist. Yeah, I just want to get permanence onto the board. Plus yield. Yeah, it's just some kind of... The problem is I have no idea what they're playing, right? So I don't really know what to play around. I have no idea what they're doing, so I have no idea what to play around. They're doing some fringe shit, but, you know, more power to them. I guess if they thought sees me here and get a Yogmoth, that'd be pretty bad for me. Oh, grief. Okay, all right. They took my Yogmoth. They should cast the Yogmoth or the Grist, but I don't know. I'm just gonna use the evolution to get a Grist. Redless Jund, maybe. Grist or Yogmoth? Yogmoth. All right, so what do we do here? We can Eldritch Evolution, sacrifice this, get a Grist, shoot this. Or we could just like play a High Arc and do nothing. Just let them attack us and not give a shit about what they're doing. We should use our mana. Sacrifice this. Get a grist. Get a grist. That doesn't seem like a very good play. Grist. 
sacrifice you, kill you. All right, we have Grist. They have the nothing. I'm okay with this. Don't give a fuck about that. I mean, I kind of care. That's obviously very annoying. Uh, plus. I guess I play me Yogmoth. We play me Yogmoth and pass the turn. I'll be right back one second. Children? Okay. Yep. As long as they don't draw fetch land plus fatal push, we'll be okay. Alrighty. We lose three life. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? We're gonna go one, two, wall of roots, play high arc. We're going to, uh, I guess we have to shoot this once so we can get a card in our hand. We'll lose a bunch of life, but who cares? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. I was going to proliferate this up and then proliferate this and just kill this. I guess I just do that anyway. Discard, discard. Hold on. Discard a card. Proliferate, proliferate. Done. Minus, sack this, kill this. Attack. Angel of Despair. Maybe proliferating this ring was not a great idea because they could just find another ring. Ring is so stupid. This is the mid-range card now. Bowmasters, kill the Grist. Yeah. They have seven cards in hand. Uh, do I just proliferate this ring up and hope it kills them? Yeah. I agree with that. But it wouldn't have sold as many packs if they did that. Um. An emblem. That would have been so much better, Stringer. I agree with you on that one. Like Chandra. Alright, how do I win this game? How do I win this game? I guess I just play this and pass. Thirteen cards in hand. I shouldn't have proliferated it. That was my problem. I guess if they don't play a ring this turn, I'm going to proliferate this twice. Really? I'm afraid they have I'm afraid that they have a fatal push, right? I'm very afraid that they have a fatal push. So I don't want them to fatal push my my Yogmoth. Let's make them discard a bunch of cards. Okay, so we shoot this. We go oh, we can't get triple black for this. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to cord for Bowmaster, sure. All right, we're going to kill the that. Yep.
going to get Blood Artist. Going to shoot the Bowmaster. Going to hit them. Okay. Going to hit this, sag this. Okay. Take five. What would they have? What could they have that gains them life? Cling to dust? Takanuma. Okay. Okay. You see, if you watch The Lord of the Rings, Frodo was like a regular old boring guy. But then the ring corrupted them. And it turned him into something evil, and the evil destroyed him. How the fuck did I win that game? Alright, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? I guess, I guess we do Hey, Where Am I? Let's go. I didn't come here for the life metaphors. I came here for the magic. Well, we did the magic. I think I want S Legion's End. I think I want some number of thought seizes. I think I don't want ignoble hierarchs on the draw against the four bowmaster deck. I think I want these, and I think I want this, and I think I want to cut this, and I think I want to cut this, and I think I want to play this. Let's play it like this. I should also play this go for the throat so I can kill Shieldred, but whatever. All right, we got one, two, three, keep. The youngest wolf. The youngest wolf approaches and gets bow mastered. Voidwalker, lovely. Lovely. Do I want to play a Strangaroo Geist or do I want a Thoughtseize? I think I want to Thoughtseize. Playing a Strangaroo Geist leaves me incredibly vulnerable to Bowmaster kill both of these. But at the same time, I think it's just the right thing to do. Whatever. We just won't attack into a Bowmaster. Crazy. Crazy they had that. I mean, Thought Seizing them, I don't think does that much. They for sure have a million Bowmasters. Maybe I should have just Thought Seized them. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, Grist. Gris kill this. Gris goes up. I'm gonna thought he's um Children Voidwalker the Ring. What do I wanna not deal with? Oh god. I guess I don't really wanna deal with Children. Play a hey where I might. Uh yield through the turn. So their hand is Ring. Another Void Walker. Crazy. All right. Oh, they want to Thought Seize me? That sucks. Then they can have my Yogg. I'll, I'll just kill this Void Walker. If they do that. If they do that, I will just kill that other Void Walker with the Grist. So they can't have a Yogg. Thought sees me? Sure. I mean, that's one way to kill the Voidwalker. It's like my Yogmoth was a Terminate. For free. That's pretty good. It's like it says, gain three life, destroy a creature, discard a card from your hand. That's what's happening right now, which I'm okay with. 
All right, now we yield to the turn. Now I think that we play the Grist. I don't think we can let them use the Undying effect to kill the Yawgmoth. So I think we have to throw away the Grist to kill this. And the Young Wolf. I could have attacked for one there. It would have been better to attack for one. But I didn't want to like accidentally walk into Bowmasters or something terrible like that. I guess I can afford to shock. They had Bowmasters. They'd wreck me. So now they get to kill the Gris. Whatever. Gris dies. Sad day for all. Sad day for all. Play the ring, please. No, we're not going to play the ring. Agatha Soul Cauldron. Okay. Well, that's pretty good here. Uh, Grist. All my eggs are now in this basket. Attack, attack, attack. Mm-hmm. Cauldron was a really good draw there. That's no good. Uh, what can I do about this? What can I do? I don't think I do anything, and, and like, I just hit, I just hit accept. Gain two life, hell yeah. Gain two life, so we know they have the one ring, which they can play now. But I could just turn this into this and just kill that. Yeah, sure, whatever. The one ring. We just can't block here. We need this alive. We need you alive, insect. We can't block. You should very much attack with this. That was a mistake, not attacking. Oh my god, I'm going to take you to the fucking cleaners. Alright, so what do we do? We go tap this, hit this, target that, yes. Now we go one, two, play this, kill this. So now we go create a token, create a token. Now we begin combat, begin combat, attack, and I could kill this. I could kill this if I wanted to. Do I want to? Yeah, I probably want to. As cool as all this is, I should just kill this fucking ring. As cool as it is to have Super Saiyan dudes, I should just kill the ring. All right, culture is pretty good there. Very good. Very, very, very good there. Touche. All right, what do we got? We got a dork. We're on the play. We go turn one dork, turn two, land dork. Yeah, we keep. All right, we'll try that. We'll play. We'll play without lightning bolt. That's cheating. That may violate. That may work in the letter of the law, but it violates the spirit of Mono Blackburn, I think. I did like the list that was playing Bowmaster. Ragavan, eh? Ragavan, the big rags. Plant? Plant? Oh. All right, we're going to cord for one here at the end step. We'll cord one, two, three, we'll make a one, one. After we block this. Bring it. Bring the rag of ruckus over here. I'm not scared. Tony Scapone, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Good luck in the challenges. Um, we're playing some modern Yawgmoth. And we're beating up on whatever this deck is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we go, I guess we play this here. And then we go uncounterable, black, this, and this. 
play a Yawgmoth of the uncounterable style. We're going to have to... Okay. Okay. There's something to be said for rampy creatures. All right. So we're playing against uh, Murktide. In the olden days, I used to board these cards and two of these against Murktide. I would sideboard Evolutions. I would sideboard a Young Wolf. And I would sideboard... Um, one of these, and hmm, I guess one of these. We would play like this. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you're having success. What did you see the new storm card, Tony? Did you see the? Are you still here? Or did you leave? You probably left. Did you see the the storm, the blue storm card? Uh, mythic spoilers. Uh, newest, newest. This fucking this thing. Do you see this, Tony? Rad storm, instant speed storm proliferate, and there's a card. That gives your opponent... What the hell is it called? It's called... Uh... Oh, my buddy fucking gave it to... Tony's gone. Yeah. Yeah, but this isn't Legacy. But the problem is this is never going to fucking come to Magic Online. That's the problem. Prologue to Phoresis. Yeah. So then you just go like... You just play a bunch of those and then you play like High Tide or, or what Tony's doing. Where you're playing, um... I will take your Fury, please. Ugh. Brotherhood's End. Stern Scolding. What are all these hostile cards for poor Yawgmoth? Um, the Brotherhood's End of the Stern Scolding. I think I'm going to take the Stern Scolding. I should have given them a Rad Counter also. Yeah, I agree. Have you seen the Rad Counter? The Rad Counter's kind of cool. But the problem is if it gave rad counters, it'd be a kill condition all on its own. And they're probably scared of that, so. Oh, you should use these. They have an unholy heat, so they're just gonna... They're just gonna unholy heat my bowmaster. But it's okay, because I'm going to do this on their turn. So they will pop bobbles? No popping bobbles. No popping bobbles, you see. We're just going to play bobbles for no value. Alright, so they, they, I mean, they obviously know I have a bowmaster. They have an unholy heat. So let's just play a bowmaster and shoot them for one. So their hand is literally Unholy Heat, Brotherhood's End, Express Federation. So now they've been waiting me for me to play this so they can use this and they can Unholy Heat this. Cute. Alright. Shoot them. They'll Unholy Heat. And then we'll hopefully just play a Grist here. They're so lucky I don't have another one. They would be so punished for this. Crazy. Um, let's just play a Stranger attack. Crack this. We need to get a black with this. Uh, one, two, Wall of Roots. Fucker. Attack. Well, we chose the wrong spell to cast. Another thing about Unholy Hate. What's up? How are you this morning? You good? It's nice to see you reunited with your friend. Alright, they don't have anything here. Alright, so they're completely shields down. This is good for us. I think I'll probably just play Aggressed. Uh, if we go this, this, they'll just Brotherhood's End. So let's just... Let's just play Aggressed. Plus, 
attack, attack. Thanks for responding to me last night. Appreciate that. All right. Um. So we don't really know what's in their hand. Curse. Oh my god, that's really bad for us. Really, really bad for us. Uh, let's attack first. Attack. We'll play a Yawgmoth too. We don't want to play too many of the little shitters and then get wrecked by Brotherhood's End. So we'll just get a forest and Yawgmoth might get countered here. Play Yog plus. Then next turn we can play the Blood Artist and if they Brotherhood's End us, they'll take a bunch of damage. And they'll probably die because they'll take, I don't know, we'll see. As long as we have this Grist, we're in this game. Unholy Heat on Grist. Bolt the Yawgmoth. Okay. Brotherhood's End. Oof. They only have one card, though, so no big deal. Uh, ooh, Scavenger Goose. I was excited for a second, then I remember the Curse Totem. This goes up. One, two, Stranger Root. One, two, Blood Artist. Hiya, Tech you. All right, so four cards in the yard. Forgot that the Brotherhood's End dealt damage to Gris too, so Gris took a heat beating too. Why on earth are they not drawing with Fiery Islet here? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they not draw? Being combat, I guess maybe they have a Fury, a, sol a Subtlety. I don't know. Why aren't you drawing? Subtlety? Adorable. Uh, what are you blocking? You are blocking the Stranger Root Geist. Crack this. They go to 10. Do I want to kill this or do I want to just plus? Just gonna plus. They're at ten. We have another one of these. We can just kind of flood the board and then like we're pretty good here. Now we could just like I don't know how they're supposed to deal with all this. I guess a giant merc tide would do it. So here's their draw. Yeah, they want to keep the fire outlet around. It's an emotional sport. Is it? Uh, what decks is Curse Totem good against? Yogmoth, 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 Hardened Scales, Yogmoth. Yeah, me too. I'd love to play Storm in Modern. Um, I am. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna kill the Grist. I'm just gonna kill the Subtlety. And full swing. Actually, you know what? Maybe I just play the Yog Moth. What's the play here? All right, here's the play. The play is un. No, oh, I can't even use that. All right, the play is Grist. Sacrifice a creature. Sacrifice the halfling. Kill the subtlety. Ping. Yield through the turn. Ping. Attack with everything. They'll block here. This thing has to attack and they'll take a million damage and they'll die. They'll block here. They'll take five, six, because they'll block here. They'll get a trigger off the Blood Artist. They go to two. All right. Blood Artist is so good. So good. Unbelievably good how good Blood Artist is. Rock on. I don't know how you do this. Other than... Okay. 
Now you're, this has to attack, and you need Forked Bolt to kill both of these. Uh-huh. All right. We did it. It is okay versus Hammer, right? Against Hammer, it stops Stoneforge Ma Ma Mystic. So let's look. Uh, does it it's, doesn't really do anything here. It can stop... Oh, fuck. We're getting scammed. God damn it. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Somewhat stop Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, they played a Ragavan. I think their deployment of a Ragavan means that we need to alter our plans. Our plan was to play a Delighted Halfling, but our plan now has to become to play the Hunter of the Monkey, the Youngest Wolf. The Young Wolf is the bane of the monkey's existence, and we will trade if they play a Voidwalker, thinking they're slick. No, actually... I kind of prefer turn one scam because this means they're sitting there with a fury and they're just like got a crazy gleam in their eye and they're just waiting for us. They're just waiting for us to uh, set up a board that they could just fury away because they're like, I want to fury this motherfucker. All right. What do we got? We're going to go these two. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk. And we're passing the turn. At the end of their turn, we're going to cord for another young wolf. If they don't do anything crazy. Bowmaster. Terminate the wall of roots. Oh, that sucks. Should we cord for a dryad arbor? No, that leaves us too vulnerable to fury. That really, 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 really sucks that they had that terminate. Really sucks. Fury gamers be like this. I gotta look. It's not loading. It's not loading. 7TV broke. What do we got? What do we got? This looks like a... Colian's command. Shit. All right, so they're killing that, making me discard. I'm going to discard a this. All right, blocking still. Fuck, 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 fuck. Coal against command. Yeah, the, they think they're slick now playing coal against command, which is just so stupid. I don't know why they're playing coal against command again. But, I mean, at least I'm not getting griefed. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, 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 actually. I'm just going to cord for a halfling at the end step. Playing a grist here just exposes us too much to fury. If they go land fury and we play a grist, we'll be dead. So we're going to pass the turn and we're going to cord for a mana dork. God, they're playing so many cards that I don't really care about. They're just annoying. Alright, why did they hold up two mana? Why did they hold up two mana? Green, green, green. Green. Bonk, 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 bonk. I guess they have a terminate, and they're going to terminate my delighted halfling. Oh, they, they're not going to terminate my delighted halfling. Ooh, lands. All right, let's think. Let us think here together. Do I want to play this or do I want to potentially besage you this? I think I can just play this. And I think I'm going to go black, 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 black. Yogmoth the Thran Physician. An uncounterable Yogmoth, by the way. Uncounterable Yogmoth. I feel like I should eradicate their board. Always yield. Do they have the terminate? Oh, you... The fuck is double red? You need black for the terminate, homie. Alright. Um...
We'll kill this. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay. Alright, so... Here comes the Fury. Undying Evil. Alright. So I'm gonna do something unorthodox here. They're for thousand percent gonna fury me. So I'm gonna block with this and trade this with the Ragavan. They want me to block here so then they can play a fury and kill both of these. So we're gonna do something bad and we're gonna do this. Is a bad play, but it's crazy to me that this person has taken so much damage from Mount Doom. When I have Urborg out, right? I have Urborg out. Stop taking damage from Mount Doom. My friend, I have an Urborg out. You don't have to take Mount Doom damage. Alright. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I could just play this Agatha Soul Cauldron, right? I can go one, two, Agatha's. Put the Wall of Roots on the Young Wolf. I can minus, then I can go one, two, three, Grist. Then I can Grist minus kill this. Yes. Let's get a little fancy with it. So we're going to go Wall of Roots. I could just get the Delighted Halfling too, but let's put the Wall of Roots in the thing. What happens to the counter? It goes up. Wall of Roots. On that. Okay. Uh, okay. Minus. One. Two. Play this. Sack. Kill that. All right, we have to kill this because we want to keep the board clear. Uh oh. This is the one two combo that we are in trouble. We have to fight. How do we do this? Copying Fury is obviously a problem. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're close to dead, but we're not dead. Alright, so we play... We play this. We plus. We put... Put Grist on the thing. Uh, play this. And then next turn, on their turn, we can cord for a young wolf and do some blocking with the young wolf. Actually, we can cord for the young wolf now. One, two, three, one. But it won't have a counter on it, so we'll just wait. This is obviously not the position you want to be in as a Yawgmoth player. With your opponent having Kiki Jiki plus Fury plus whatever. Do we have infinite guys? No, not yet. Oh my god. Why do you have to make life so complicated? Okay. Okay, so now we go minus one to cord for one. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We don't do this, right? Because we can cord for a bowmaster, play a bowmaster, put a counter on this, plus, plus, put Yogg in the cauldron, 
shoot this twice. Bowmaster's better. All right. Okay, so one, two, three. Swamp, swamp. I should leave this untapped. I should use this. I should go swamp. I guess we have to do it like this. Court of Calling. We're going to get Bowmaster. Bowmaster is going to shoot Reflection of Kiki Jiki. We're going to plus this. Okay. Now we are going to. Put a plus one, plus one counter, get a Yawgmoth. We're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on this insect. Now we're going to create an insect. Now we are going to shoot the reflection, sack the insect. That insect does have a loyalty counter. This is loyalty. This is whatever. What can they get from us? Aggress the core to Bowmaster. Do we need to kill this? Do we need to go shoot this, shoot this? Sack this, shoot this. I think I'm going to pay one light. I'm gonna, gonna add a wall of roots mana counter. And then I'm going to pay one life. Put a minus one, minus one on this creature. I'm going to sacrifice super thing here. Oh, that was such a good draw. Oh my god, that was such a good draw. Bowmaster. Shoot this. Uh, plus. Okay. All right, your turn. Your turn. All right, maybe maybe I need to just shut up about Cauldron and play Cauldron. Mm, yes. I will block with an insect. I will then shoot this, sack this. One, two, three, four, five, Fury. Okay, so we're just gonna, all right, so pay one life, shoot this, sack. Uh, pay one life, shoot this, sack this. Uh, pay one life, shoot this, sack this. I don't want to go too low to die to Bolt plus Mount Doom. Right? So I'm just going to let this die, and I'm just going to let this die. I don't want to go too low here. There's no reason to. No reason to go too low, right? I think we can kill them here. Okay, so one. So what's the play here? What is the play? I guess we start off with Blood Art. Now we want to put uh, put a counter on the Blood Artist. Sure. So now we make an insect. And now we just start doing stuff. Actually, now we go one, 
two, three. Evolution, this insect, ping. And we're getting Striker Rukeist. Now we shoot this like this. Pick trigger. Always yields. Save targets. Always yield. Always yield. Now we can remove a counter. Oh, it doesn't work like that because we don't have the thing. I guess I will remove a counter, add one one. I wonder how this works. So now I could tap it for mana. That's funny. I could tap it for a colorless. And then I can sack this, shoot that. Oh, I forgot to activate it for Grist, right? So we shoot this, sack this, it goes away. Then I activate Grist. Oh, this is just infinite, right? So we shoot this, or hold on. Then we tap for our colorless. Then we shoot this, sack this. And then we, they've conceded. Now we pay one life, choose up to one creature, done. Sacrifice this. That's a neat little combo. Now we make a mana. Make a thingy, make a grist, shoot this, sack this, pay one life, choose up to degrees, you're done, sack this. We've created a loop, a loopy doop. Make an insect, target this, sack this. Pay one life, cheese out on creature. I'm just gonna attack him. Being combat. Being combat. Oh, yeah. Okay. That worked out nicely. That worked out pretty nicely. How do we beat scam? We do this. We change up the deck. We don't bring in these. We cut all of these. We try and play a mid-range deck. Let's try it. Cauldron is the key of, oh, I guess this is lethal, yeah. All right, we got a dork, we got a thing, we got a wall of roots, we got a endurance, we got a yog. The problem is that the games that, the games that they're beating you Cord's not going to do anything, right? The games are they're just like Fury you, blah, 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 you, Thought sees you, blah, blah, blah. Cord just doesn't do anything against those decks. When they're keeping your permanence to a minimum, Cord's very hard to leverage. We're just going to try and mid-range them. All right, so they're sitting on Bowmasters here. Um, I guess I'll just play Wall of Roots. Bow Masters. Don't kill my wall, please. I'll block here. I don't want them to go like bolt your wall, play another thing, kill it. So we'll block here. I guess if they had another thing, they could still play another thing that before bolt it or whatever. I'm blocking here. I don't even have anything. All right, so we're gonna go one, two. I guess we go one, two, wall of roots. And then we can go one, two, play Strangerookeist. We can go one, two, Strangerookeist. I don't really wanna Bowmaster them and walk into an Undying Evil effect, so I'm not gonna. I'm going to play this, and then we will attack with this. 
and then I will hold up endurance plus bowmaster. Ah, uh, either one. Endurance is good here. Bowmaster is good here. We'll see what they decide to do. Looks like Grieferoni. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to get a black and I'm going to Bowmaster. I'm going to kill their Bowmaster here. Kill the Bowmaster. Boink. They'll take Grief, I guess. Endurance. They'll probably scoop to Yogg. I mean, this person doesn't scoop, but they should scoop to Yogg. Alrighty. No Fury, no Victory. One, two, three, four. Yogg. Murder time. We could probably, we would be usually be able to kill them, but we don't have the cords in the deck, so we can just sort of chill. All right, we got them. Just mono green mid range wins the day. Okay, playing for the four one. Playing uh, for the four one. The other day, I went to the store and they had these cough drops, these watermelon cough drops. That just like tasted like watermelon candy instead of that like horrible aftertaste that you usually have with uh, cough drops, like that medicated taste. So I want to just go back to the store and buy those cough drops. Um, I don't know. The problem is, is it ever going to be better than, like... The problem is, Scam doesn't really have a lot of cards that fuel it and make it good. And, like... I don't know. It's probably good card advantage in the mirror when you can actually leverage it. I think that the 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 losing of Blood Moon might be too much for Scam. Oh, god darn it. Rhinos. Gosh darn it, rhinoceroses. Oh boy. Drawing a land there, not great. Uh, I would say that it might be worth it, but at the same time, like, compare it to Bone Crusher Giant, which is a two for one, right? Like, how many times is Questing Druid going to be better than a two for one, like Bone Crusher? Rhino seems like an okay, I wish. I wish Rhinos was okay, because they're going to just kill my High Arc. And I'm going to lose. They're going to go... I don't know what they're going to do. But if they go land, kill my high arc. Rhinos. Rhinos. The enemy of Yogmoth is Rhinos. Not this hand. We, we have hands that can beat Rhinos. But this is not one of them. Alright, well at least they blew this on that and not something good. Oh, that's not a good draw. We really, really, really need to start drawing not. Uh, I might have to save this for Dryad Arbor later. We really need to start drawing a little bit better. Yeah, our hand's not beating anything. I mean, we were on the draw. We had three playable cards, you know. Drawing two lands has not helped our cause. If they play a Rhino this turn, we will lose the game. The game will be over. <laughs> they are definitely in the tank for how complicated Rhinos is. Definitely major decisions over there between to put 10 power in play or to not put 10 power in play. It's turn three. Okay, land. Not going to put 10 power in play. They're going to put eight power instead. Yogmoth is not a bad little draw. That might pull, This might be... What we need to draw here. Swamp, Swamp, Yogmoth. Okay. How you like creativity these days? Do they have Mystical Dispute? Ugh. Gross. 
That did not help our cause of winning this game. That did not help our cause. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I think it's a good meta call. But the problem is, it's hard to meta in modern because there's just, you know, you're like, I'm gonna play this to beat the beanstalk. We've played ten matches today, nine matches, and we haven't seen the beanstalk. Kill the high arc. Oh my god, you're killing me here, friend. Yep. Yep. All right, how do we win this game? We play this young wolf. And we evolution for a grist. Start plussing the grist. To get a board presence. To maybe use the court of calling. To get to a Yawgmoth. They have Brazen Bar over here to kill the... To pressure the Grist. But this is how we play. I mean, let's compare this to... If this was a... This was a... Agatha's, we'd be in a lot better spot right now. Because we could have a Yawgmoth in our uh, in play here. Alrighty, so we're going to plus. Now we can cord for Yogg next turn and hope that we can do Yogg shit. Well, the cool thing about Magic Online, which makes it different than Paper, is I can get whatever deck I want instantly, right? I can get whatever deck I want instantly online in under 10 minutes. Like, in paper, if you want to switch decks, it's a pain in the ass. You've got to... Your local shop doesn't really carry the singles anymore. So you have to buy shit from online, right? And it's got to be shipped to you. And changing decks in paper is kind of a pain in the ass. But on Magic Online, you just play whatever the hell you want. Which is what makes it great. We're dead, by the way. Because they have Rhinos coming off Suspend. And they're going to hit us with a million power. We're so dead. I guess maybe if they kill Grist, we'll have some extra time. So like in paper, all the change is slow. And the meta changes slowly. Because people have a deck and they just play it. But on Moto, the meta changes instantly. When Spike plays the deck, everybody plays it to be like, is this deck good? And then they find out it is or it isn't. All right, so let's see what this Rhino goes. Me, that goes here. All right, so this go, where are we going? I don't know if I can actually... They're swinging both at Grist? Okay, that gives us time. This gives us time... I mean, if their hand's got nothing in it, we could maybe win this game. But their hand has to be blank and totally blank. If they have anything, we lose. Bowmaster. Okay, so we play this. We can go one, two, Bowmaster. I should actually go one, two. How do I do this? How do I do this? I have to crack this. I have to get Dryad Arbor. I have to go one, two, Bowmasters. Shoot a Rhino. Now I have to cord for Yogg. Yogg Moth. Any amount of counterspell here, and I'm dead. Anything that bounces Yogg, anything that does anything, we get Yogg Moth. Now we have to shoot this, sec this. We have to kill this Rhino this turn. If they have anything, we're dead. And I'll concede on the spot. They obviously have something, because they're not just f 6 but I don't know. I don't know what they have. I don't know what they have. 
We have to kill one rhino. <clears throat> we have to kill one rhino and shrink this other rhino so Yogg can block it. And have something that kills this brazen borrower. Do I own Yogg and Paper? Yeah. I don't have the cauldrons, though. I don't have the cauldrons, but I have Yogg and Paper. I have Yogg and Paper. I have Legacy Delver and Paper. I have Legacy Storm and Paper. I have a Pioneer Zombie Rally deck from, like, eight years ago when Pioneer just came out and I didn't give a shit about Pioneer. Uh, we're dead. We're not coming back from this. We're not coming back from that. I'm glad they had to tank, 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 kill your Yawgmoth. Tank, 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 tank. Tank, 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 tank. Tank some more. Kill your Yogg. Uh, Excel target creature opponent curls, mail it to us, and all other creatures with the same name. Yoink. Uh, evolution's not gonna be good against them. Uh, shave, shave. Sh Bowmaster does literally nothing against them. Where'd you acquire that from? Yeah. I have Legacy Delver. Grixis Delver, actually. Uh, I have Legacy Storm. I have an EDH deck. I have Yogg. And I have the, I have the, the Necrons EDH deck that a buddy of mine got me for Christmas. So I have the Necrons EDH deck, Sig, Yogmoth, Delver, Storm, and that's it. That's it. Um, okay, would you like to play first? Yes. Okay, we can go land thing. Yeah, all right, this is keepable. This is keepable. We'll play the halfling. I wonder if I'm supposed to thought seize on one. I wonder if I'm supposed to thought seize. I was uh, pretty okay with the simplicity of uh I love Necrons of 40k. The problem is if they suspend, right? Is if they suspend on one, then I'm kinda if they just go land suspend and I miss it, that would suck for me. But we'll see. I have to admit, the pace at which this person plays is a little tilting for me. All right. What's going on over there? What's going on? Show me the goods. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Uh, how do I win this game? I guess I win this game by... Taking the Fury? I win this game by doing what? Taking the Fire Ice and drawing Necromentia. That's how I win this game. That's how I win the game. Drawing Necromentia. Yeah. We're taking the Fire Ice to stop them from drawing a third land. We're taking the Fire Ice to stop them from icing down our land... So we can get a Necromentia on three. Well, they don't have the mana. So maybe maybe we get them at the mana. No manas. I guess they're going to fury our idiots away. They're going to spew. Because they can. Fuck is calling me. Alright. They're not going to spew. Necromentia. That's not Necromentia. One, two, wall of roots. Play this. Attack. All right. Let's cross our fingers and hope they don't get to a third land. Cross our fingers. Are they going to fury away? All right. They don't have a land. So they're not just slamming it. This game's winnable. If, they, if we have like one or two turns where they don't draw land, we could win this game. Dude, if they go tank, 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 land... Oh, my God. Tank, 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 land, Charlotte's Agent. Sure. Tank, 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 land, Charlotte's Agent, Fury. Oh. Uh, yeah. I I am. 
I am so tilted right now. I have like crazy, just gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I believe they call that awesome attention, something, something. So like, I just always wanna go, 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 you know? Daniel Arola, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate that. And when I'm just like, doing nothing it's just like uh they call that having a smartphone multi-queuing yeah i know like let's fucking let's load up another game let's load up a queue let's do art game i guess we could art game cowbunga nice uh dead the thing okay so they're gonna dead this and then Fury, these two. Cute. Adorable. Fury, pitch these two. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh, yep, exciting. Yep. What the hell they pitch? They pitched Outburst. All right. It's time for Dryad Arbor. It's Dryad Arbor time. Let's go. The clock is here. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I guess I want to keep this at five loyalty if I can. Right? If I keep this at five, then I can block rhinos in a pinch. All right. Attack you. Attack. 15. Got him on the ropes. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with calculating the lines. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just sometimes it's a little... It's a bit... It's a bit much. But, you know, more power to him. It does not make for the best... Oh, they just did nothing. All right, cool. Uh, Ice the Black... Okay, we can't yog this turn if we draw it, but we're not going to draw it. Basagui. This goes up. Holy shit! It's, our deck wants us to win. Do we want to, do we want to besage you the, the triome just to be like a dick? Just to get one land out of their deck? Just to, like, lower the odds. I mean, what else are we doing with it? What else are we doing with it? Minus one land for you. And crack this. Get another black source tapped. And we are f 6 Bam. That micro percentage of one less land with 20 whatever lands, minus one. Yeah. That worked out well. We just have to do that again. That was easy. <laughs> All right. Okay. How to stop rhinos. Cross your fingers and hope they never draw third land. That's like the best strategy against any deck I've ever seen. What does this hand do? This hand just loses to Rhinos. Right. This hand loses. We need to find like... I don't know what the hell we need. I don't feel like this deck wins. This hand wins. I think we mulligan. Uh, I guess this, this hand does some stuff. We can keep this. We'll put back court. If I win this, Yogmoth never lost today. That's true. Losing to the mirror doesn't feel bad. I guess I've learned something from this league, and that's that I just need to be playing. I just need to be playing um, cauldrons, and I need to not be fighting it. I always fight playing cauldrons. And I need to not fight playing Cauldrons. I need to just play Cauldron because it's broken. 
I need to play Cauldron because it's just broken. It's worth being able to deviate from the Yogg plan. Yeah, every time. <laughs> every time we had Cauldron, it looked busted. Every time we had Cauldron, it looked busted. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Lauren revealed. Get Kometra Triome. Pass the turn. Oh, Steam Vents. They have a thing to kill my guy. Fuck! Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. Damn it. They killed my guy. Uh. We need to. We need to make sure we're not getting rhinos next turn. Alright, so their hand is Mutavolt, Fire Ice. The problem is if we don't take the ice, right, then they can subtlety the Grist. Or they'll draw land, ice us, right? Like, it's too easy for them to draw blue. They're going to ice the black here anyway, and we'll be able to play Strangeruk Ice Attack. You never know. You never know with Murktide. In the past, they some people would side him out, but other people would not. Boink, boink, boink. Hey, yeah. Hey, Dukin. All right. So their hand is unknown, unknown. Mutavolt, Mutavolt's unknown. So their hand is completely unknown. Maybe. Okay, so let's play High Arc. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack with this. It's kind of risky, but I think I have to kill them. Okay. Uh, now we plus. Get a Grist. Forest. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Grist. They're getting rhinos next turn. Like, the thing you don't understand, if we don't if we don't take the subtlety, then most of our outs down the road become a problem. Because eventually they're gonna get to a point where they can cast this. Right? They'll stop our yog, they'll stop something. Like, we will have to get through this card eventually. Like what do they got? Like, we have to go through this card. This card is a temporary thing and annoying, but beatable. Yeah. I mean, how could they have tanked for so long for subtlety? If they had it, just fucking slam it, right? Tank, 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 subtlety. Really? We tanked on this? Oh, my fucking God. I can't top this. I can't top this or I'll lose. Because if I top this, they're getting Rhinos next turn. I have to bottom this. And I have to draw something good. I have to draw something that deals with the Rhinos. I have to draw a Yawgmoth. Are they double queuing? I don't know. But they're playing Rhinos, so... Rhinos is almost as brain dead as Scam, where you just doesn't matter what you do. You can just fumble your way through the deck. Because the deck's just got such a raw power that it's stacked. We have to draw a Yogmoth. I guess this buys us a turn because we can block with it. I'm going to play the land because if I draw Yogmoth, I need to have as good of a Yogmoth turn next turn. So I need to fetch out Dryad Arbor next turn. So we'll pass a turn. We'll block one with the Wall of Roots. And I think Rhinos is one of the best decks in the format. It's been good forever. If they have another set of Rhinos, I'm scooping. We're done. We are done. We are done. We are done. We are done. All right. So I need to play Cauldrons. And I need to play better Rhino Hate. We just stood no chance against that deck. 
Uh, let's open up our pity chest. What did we get? We lost to Yogg. We beat everything else. We lost to Rhinos. Remember when Pioneer used this card to kill everybody? All right. That's it for now. We're going to change the deck up. We're not going to play Evolutions in the challenge. We'll play Cauldrons. I probably am not going to play Walking Ballista, though. I just hate Walking Ballista. Yep. Slots on Solus Jailer. I mean, if I knew I was going to play against Yogg or Rhinos and... I'm <laughs> sorry.